Hey everybody, it's JP from My Memory Garden. Sorry about all the cars going by. Apparently everybody's out for a Sunday drive now that church is probably out. So there we go on that. So our uh, first thing we're looking at this morning, guys, is the Columbine. Hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday yourself. Look at those flowers. They're thoroughly enjoying themselves. I said I'd be back on Sunday. It was the next good day, and it really was. So now pardon me real quick, guys. I'm kind of got some stuff in here. And yeah, me and my mother have been talking about our both our sea hollies. And I think I'm going to get hosed this year. I don't think my sea holly is going to make it. It might have not liked where it was. It could have been a couple factors. But basically the way I understand it is it should have come up by now. Now probably part of it is because it's not getting good sunlight right here. But it should have come up right in the spot. There's the, there's the old dead growth, I think, right there, or some of it. Um, who knows what might happen in the future? Um, something might good might come out of it. But uh, the whole area here, even the blue fescue, um, I think it needed all the dead growth cleared out. And somewhere in this is the uh, thyme, the lemon thyme. And I think this whole thing overgrowthed, and I just didn't do enough to take care of it, which has been the main feeling of this garden as a whole, is that it's a very, very invasive grass and weeds. So the thing is, is that as far as that goes, my mother was right on that on that front. Um, it is gonna be very tough. Look at the maple. Look at the maple tree, guys. It is doing so great. All it needed was just a little trim, go figure. Yeah, much like people, guys, every once in a while. To do a little better, all you need is a little trim. <laughs> Now, um, underneath all this stuff is where we hope to get, um, oh, what's it going to be? Oh, yeah, that's the sharp kind of stuff. you got to be careful with that kind of weed. I had a hunch. Um, this is where the red hot pokers are supposed to come up. Now, my mother thought these probably should have come up by now, but they're a late summer thing. The uh, best we can do is keep the weeds off them. They're going to come out. And little spots here i don't know if that right there i got my finger on any of that stuff could be weeds could be part of it that's why i'm careful um but yeah i think some of this stuff is going to take its you know merry little time getting out and getting to a point where we can actually say if it's going to grow or not um looks like yeah i got a lot of growth in here um but that's what happens we have to clear out some of it and that brings Hopefully the new growth back. Like I said, that's been a main failing of mine. Uh, shade garden here is looking pretty good, guys. I got hostas that aren't even in the ground, and they're growing pretty good. Once again, sorry about my finger, guys. I needed my dominant right hand to pull weeds with. So, But we got a variety of hostas in here. I just planted a new one over somewhere uh, near the tree. But look at this. Look at the, uh, the way this one, guys, kind of wrinkles up. That's a beautiful hosta. And we need to get that in the ground, much like a lot of other stuff. That one, that one, that one. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good actually getting hostas in the ground today. I actually decided to take and do the broadcast, guys, from the outskirts of the garden because the fact of the matter is, is I was just doing a perimeter walk to see how things are going. Um, you know, after a couple of days of rain that we just got and then the sun coming out today, everything is looking pretty lush. Now, we're going to hope... This is my butterfly weed. Because <laughs> if it's not, it's a really ugly weed that I got to get rid of. Um, <laughs> but here's a hoping. As you guys can see, we can finally get in here. The mint smells great out here right now, guys. I wish you could enjoy it with me. Um, I do have some mint coming up definitely big time. As you can see, speaking of coming up, the blooms on this honeysuckle have decided to go gung-ho. Um, unfortunately, they're going to be making my life difficult. Because the thing is, is that I need to, um, ooh, I think I might have got a sliver in myself. That weed I pulled out, guys, it might have been one of those ones that has little barbs on it. So, ho, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jab myself. But we'll see what happens later on when I get a second to clean off my hands and do a little bit more. Uh, cherry blossom, guys, pretty much between the bad weather we got. We got some storms through here yesterday and a couple other things. I think it's done blooming but uh you never quite know we'll, we'll keep an eye on it but for right now i would not be surprised if it's done it's time done what it's going to do and uh then it's going to leaf like crazy and i gotta get out here and i gotta weed um and the thing is, is that we're not gonna see much else from it 
Yeah. Yeah, I got something in my mouth. Um, you never know when it's bugs, folks, so I'd rather spit it out. So, no, no activity yet from the Irish my mother gave us down there. Um, however, the beard tongue, the blue beard tongue, doing really well. Um, it's got its blue and purple into it, and it's going to be fully open and down the road, and we'll take a look at that when it is. Um, not much else has done much, but uh, like I said, I hadn't fully done a walk, but I had started to do a walk. So let's take a look at our clematis. Ooh, boy, is that doing well. There's the first bloom, guys, or bud in this case. Um, so it's all going to open up, and we're going to like conjole it to get... To the tree so like this stuff here that's trying to go this way we're going to try to get it to go this way uh but the wind like i said yesterday from the storms probably did a lot oh the bell flower my mother gave me guys looks like we might be seeing some activity here on the top of the leaves i just noticed all those little red spots so maybe we are going to get shortly down the road here we're going to get some activity to finally see what those look like because as you know we transplanted them last year and they, you know, didn't look too hot or didn't do too much. Same with the azalea guys. I think this is going to do really well, but how much of this is going to open into blooms and how much is going to open into leaves is up for debate. Um, over here, guys, one of the poppies I got in at the last second um, that was just not getting enough water. Um, I think it's the white one. It's going to be a little iffy. But we'll keep an eye on it. The red poppy, guys, that are more like pink poppy that I have, guys, is doing really, really well, guys. You can check that out. That's doing really well. Now, on top of that, the wonderfully purple and yellow ice plant I put in is doing well today, guys. And we're starting to see some beginning blooms for the orange poppy. Now, I have an ornamental orange poppy over there, too. So I almost wish I had put another color in the back, but... When they're not open, you can't tell what color is which. So you just kind of put it wherever and hope for the best. And we might try to split those in later years and mix up the colors a little bit. So, and the, the growth on the red bud is getting a little better. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do something like I did to the other one and I'm gonna have to cut stuff up here and let the bottom growth get a little bit more oomph, a little more oomph, guys. Now you can see how the onion plants are doing over there, or as they're known as, Allium. Um, our, our Russian, or, yeah, it is it is an iris, guys. I just can't remember my mother said it was a Russian iris, or what particular breed of iris it is. But it's responding well. It's just got a little loop over itself and everything. And the, yeah, the video, guys, isn't coming out with the usual pristine colors today because the sun is fluctuating back and forth behind the clouds so now we're going to take the time to look at a couple things we're going to look at some of the new ones i just put in today like we always do but uh i do have limited time good thing is i'm just going to go in and nuke myself something to eat so look at this guys all the milkweed it's all coming up now however we have to manage that this year so i'm gonna have to watch out because i need to make sure it doesn't block any other plants from getting light particularly the hydrangea in the back now the weeds are getting rid of those well the rain came down gave most of the water that came down over the last couple of days to the plants not to the weeds that's going to make a significant difference so yellow columbine looking fantastic as always guys um however check out the maltese cross guys it is starting to finally get starting to crack open We'll be seeing something from that soon when it's fully open. We will definitely take another look at that. It just shows, guys, that a lot of the plants are responding to where they've been put in. And that's good. I got a chance to come out and mow this today, guys. I didn't care. It was short enough, and it wasn't that wet from yesterday. So I said, to screw it. Now I came out and I mowed. Got a lot done there. We're going to take a look over at the tree shade garden, guys, because... We do have some stuff over there that did get put in today. Now, pardon me, I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna try not to put my finger over anything. And I'm gonna take a look at something. And I might have definitely got a little barb in myself. It doesn't hurt really bad. I think it hurt at the beginning. I might have got a little barb in myself, but when the barbs are organic like that, uh, they can you know, get out of your body or dissolve over time. Your body will take care of them as if they were an infection. Now this is a this is a blue iris guys. 
Oh, excuse me. This is a blue Hosta. My apologies, guys. This is a blue Hosta, and it split off from a larger Hosta accidentally that I planted in the other garden. So I decided to bring it over here and put it in, and it looks really nice. And the thing is, the dead nettle's looking nice, guys. The other Hosta's looking nice. We still got some other stuff over there that shade plants. We got that painted fern that japanese painted fern and another hosta behind it that we got to take care of and we'll slowly weed them into and i use the term weed loosely but that's essentially what we're going to do we're going to we're going to weave weave is the word i was looking for but in a sense they are going to be weeded in as in weeds pop up in places that um are in between your plants we're gonna kind of in a sense weed them in <laughs> but the word i was looking for was weave as in stitch them into the rest of the plants back there and eventually get them into that shade garden uh or possibly put them in the outback one i haven't decided yet i the what was it called it was a daffodil that was off to the side of the house it finally bloomed its last bloom and unfortunately that's going to make it harder to backtrack it to its root source now but that's all i can do is i can only get to stuff when i can get to stuff and the transplanted plants are more important now today guys down here i did get around to cutting all the old dead growth off so i did do that because i think that'll help the raspberry bush out immensely Let's take a look at how our thornless blackberry bush is doing, guys. Oh, wow. Look at all the leafage on this, guys. This is a weed over here, but that's all leafage for the blackberry bush, and it's growing way, way over there, and we're hoping it's going to grow over here, but if it doesn't, that's fine. I couldn't ask for more. Now, unfortunately, some of our smaller potted plants that were over here, guys, in the walkway were getting root bound and they weren't accepting any more water because there was more roots in the pot than there was soil. So they were looking like they were dying so I had to quickly get them in the ground and that cost me time today but it was a necessary thing and I had no choice. So I had to quickly make up a spot. So the creeping speedwell, which is gonna be a white little speedwell, I think it might be done for the season. We'll see how it responds now that's in the ground. And the creeping stone crop are both in behind these other two plants in hopes that they'll either creep downward or creep this way in between the other plants. Now this one that my mother told me about, I'm still not 100% sure what it is, I'll get back to you guys. This was the main priority. It needed to be put in quickly. It's been transplanted out of the garden for two days, it needed to be put in. Hence the reason why it's got leaves in between it and I don't have any leaves over here <laughs> because it came from somebody else's garden. And you can see it's already starting to do its blooms which is another reason to get it in the ground. So we gave it this nice spacious area here which wasn't easy because there's a big rock behind there. And we gave it its own little area here so that it can uh, hopefully grow as big as it wants and then fill in some stuff over here. And then we'll put some other fillers of smaller flowers in between it eventually. Now the, the other Columbine guys, the white and red one is doing okay. It's doing better now that the sun's coming out a little bit more today. Um, most of the blooms on the wild one have come and gone. I kind of anticipated that. These are spring flowers, guys. We are getting out of spring. So unfortunately, that's what's gonna happen. Now, I, I incidentally dug up some worms today, guys. So I put in some worms underneath some of the new stuff that's been planted in and put them in these so I could have them for later and they'll keep some of the uh, nutrients and stuff going inside the hosta pots while we're waiting around to put them in, which they are on my list. Now this is the larger part of the blue hosta, guys. This is where I got put in over here. Put it with viola and then the woodland phlox over there. Put it in there and I'm gonna keep doing that and filling the back while leaving the stone bench open so that theoretically you could do something. You could sit on it if you wanted to. I'm gonna hope that we're gonna use it more decorative because I don't think I trust it with the amount of ticks and stuff that was gonna eventually be over here with all the plants. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. If nothing else, it's good to put stuff on. So uh, besides going and showing you guys a little bit of work we did to the shade garden at the front of the steps, the only other thing I really wanna show you guys while we're over here is what's going on and what I told you guys about last time. There is more evidence from the periwinkle, right here guys, the periwinkle and the uh, shamrock ivy that they are starting to climb the tree. That's what we want. 
thank the Lord for natural climbing structures. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. Fantastic. Couldn't ask for better. You guys are hearing my aunt mowing behind me. She's doing her lawn. Frankly, I wish I was doing my lawn again. But gas is expensive, and I wouldn't put my folks out like that. But the lawns are starting to get... It's not going to be a fun season, guys. Gas is expensive, and we're all having to mow constantly because the weather is good for flowers where it's rain, sun, rain, sun. However, there is a lot of detriment. It increases the amount of weeds, which is a big problem for me. All this growth I'm trying to get in here, guys, and cut for the pathways, that makes a problem. The uh, increase in... Um, uh, shady days where it's wet out after brings in more ticks and bugs of the unpleasant variety um, so unfortunately there is some good but we are taking a lot of bad with it it's it's a very very equal split so it's unfortunate but it's true so like I said guys I do want to show you that we are getting some good good uh, growth out of our Japanese plant over here it hasn't opened up yet but the growth is there oh uh, there is a spot that has opened up right here guys here's some beginning blooms very nice um, well we'll see how it all works out I see some baby grasshoppers hopping around on it that's good I like grasshoppers and stuff um, so if they want to um, if they want to reproduce around here I have this garden for I've seen butterflies I have started to see butterflies, everybody, guys. This is a garden for all types of animals. Um, so the thing is, is that uh, I really hope to put the time in and then the chipmunk can enjoy it and the birds can enjoy it and the insect life can enjoy it. And that's why we're letting the weeds, the uh, milkweed grow up over there. Now, this is not milkweed and it's all gotta go bye-bye. That's what I meant about the weeding, guys. Nasty, nasty stuff. If nothing else, I gotta be careful because there could be a lot of ticks and stuff underneath that tarping, so there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. What I'd like to do is come in here and just wipe it all out with a type of weed killer, but uh, there's too much chance it might uh, there might be a slope in here I'm not that I'm not aware of, and it might come towards the flowers and kill the flowers. So you never do that unless you're absolutely certain. But I did get in here, guys. I did get in, mowed up everything, opened it up so everybody can see stuff. Look at how the um, after the rain yesterday, guys. Here's how our chocolate mint kind of, uh, not chocolate mint, but our chocolate chip bugweed kind of split itself to the sides. Uh, the color really came in with the foam flowers, guys. Everything is looking great over here. I still feel like I need to put something in there. I'm getting a good feel for how this stuff's going to grow. So I think I need to put in something over there. Um, the fact of the matter is the bugweed over in this one, guys, the burgundy glow is starting to spread out. Uh, another reason is it was a good thing to pull up my fences because I might have to spread them out further. Lots of stuff that needs to be done in this area. I want to do it up fancy. So that is something that I got to put priority on. So, And my good old new plant, Heliopsis. Beautiful plant. Can't wait to get this sucker in. Gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Needs full sun. Love the leaves on these. They're gorgeous looking. And uh, you can't split these out of a garden. So my mother couldn't split her, so I had to buy one local walmart had a couple of them and uh, i can't wait to put this out front and get it out front at some point guys that is one of the few new plants i have next to that i really don't have much except what you've already seen and of course um the uh um transplanted flowers which uh i'm i'm thinking of a project involving somebody other than jeff and debbie's and myself with some plants i might be able to get from my mother's garden if she's willing to get rid of them that might help out some of the local community so i won't say much else because i don't want to uh sing my own praises too much that's one of the things i've been working on trying to be more humble be the way god intended me to be and i'm going to leave you on that note today guys i hope if you're a christian maybe you're thinking about hey i like how, the way some christians are we're not perfect some of us christians we screw up but you say, hey, I like something about those Christians. Well, you know what? Try to be a good person today, guys. Try to be a better person than you were yesterday. Try to work on yourself. Try to ask the Lord what he can work on for you. Try to ask the Lord to show you what you can work on, that the Lord will give you strength to do. And just try to be an overall better person today and work on those things, guys, that need to be worked on. And like I said, if you don't know, ask a friend. 
Ask a pastor if you have one. Ask uh, somebody you trust or ask the Lord. And the Lord will show you or he'll send somebody. Trust me, the Lord's got plenty of people to send to you and he'll show you what you're doing wrong. And trust me, we all need to work on things in our life. So I tell you guys, it's a great day outside. It's very sunny, but not overly sunny because it's uh, got some cloud cover out today. So it's a great day after some storms. We got some rain last night that involved thunder and lightning and some bad hail at work. I saw that. Um, I saw it for myself. I got binged in the head by one that was the size of a pebble. Um, it, it didn't hit too, too hard because it switched over to rain pretty quick, but ow. Um, but yeah, our really bad weather has kind of come and gone. Now we're doing this. So shout out to my friend, Jeff, shout out to memorabilia collector who I haven't talked to in a long time and anybody else that's joined me on the channel, but shout out to my friend, Jeff and his group who are going to watch wrestling tonight without me first time in over a year. Um, but I'm saving up to take some vacation days at the end of this month, hopefully God willing. And, uh, then we're really going to cut uh, we're really going to cut it out. We're going to, we're going to go gung-ho we're gonna cut into all the stuff you know that distracts me and we're gonna go full bore into doing as much gardening work as we can i do have some stuff i want to do uh inside but we are going to take um we're going to take my regular two days off we're going to take an unpaid day and we're going to take two extra paid days and that's the only way i can get those is if i actually um you know, build them up and don't use them every month. Cause I only get about a day's worth of vacation pay as sad as it is every month. That's how bad it is. And so the thing is, is that, um, because of that, I was using them up almost as quickly. I was using them up folks before I got them. That's how bad it was. So unfortunately I love doing stuff with my friends, but you know, this is all we can do for right now. So just keep praying for me if you pray, guys. If you don't, uh, keep your fingers crossed that we'll be able to, by the last week of this month, um, get out and do some major work. Let's hope it doesn't rain that week. God willing, let's hope, because it's happened before. You all know, you go on vacation, you try to go somewhere, and it does nothing but rain. My, my boss at work, he went down to Missouri for a couple of weeks. It did nothing but rain when he was there. Go figure. Yeah, that's what sucks, guys. You travel all the way to go outside and enjoy the weather with your girlfriend. And because um, in his case, that's what he was doing. And what happens? He can't. It rains all the time. I'm sure it was romantic inside, but it's like you you can do that anywhere. But you travel to go see things and go do things with other people and see see her relatives and stuff. And what happens? You're stuck inside all the time. It just goes to show. But uh, in this case, unfortunately... It's every Saturday it rains most of the time now, and that's affecting my friend Jeff. He's the one that's having a problem now. And then it is going to start screwing up on Tuesdays and Wednesdays again. Next Wednesday it's supposed to rain again, but here's hoping that something changes. Tuesday is going to be a busy day. i got a lot going on with the guys. Just a whole heck of a lot going on. So who knows what's going to happen? Who knows when the next video is going to be? But I hope today, guys, you go out. If it's sunny where you are, do something good. If not, find something that you enjoy inside to do and praise the Lord for it. In the meantime, guys, thank you for joining me on My Memory Garden, and we'll see you later.